Hi there, this is a uh, demo for the condition play audiometry sets on Boom Learning by PlayTalk. You will need internet access, uh, computer and or tablet, as well as a computer tablet for your, uh, for your clients and a Boom card. So this set includes the practice edition and the testing edition. And we're gonna jump right in and look at the practice one. So the practice edition includes a bucket, many balls, and also uh, different tones. So 125, 250, 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, 8000 hertz, and also a page with no sound where you can practice. And this is meant to be used through telepractice. When you share your screen, you can see what the user is uh, doing and controlling and how they're manipulating it. Uh, on each page, there are 12 tones and 12 balls. So I'm gonna show you the first one. And the sounds automatically play on each page. There's 12 on each page. You hear it, you put the ball in. Let's the wait for the next one. And will play through all the way through to the end um, unless you change pages. So if you change and go to the next page, the different tone will play and you can test that one. Okay, so it played and we can wait. You can do up to 12 per page. And at the very end, there is also a page where there's no sounds, where you can input your own sounds or you're learning to listen sounds, et cetera. And every set by Play.Gormley normally has this navigation at the top. You can click the arrow buttons and the next buttons to move to the next slide. And you can come here. If we want to see the testing edition, it's pretty much the same thing. You could actually use the no sound one but to avoid confusion and mix up and accidentally navigating to a page with sound, I've made a completely different one that just has no sound. So you go here and um, on each page, there's some directions at the beginning. So it just says, are you ready? And then you move to the next page and drop the balls and buckets. So uh, if you are sharing this through telepractice, uh, the clinician would have this open on their computer and the, the listener would have a tablet in front of them and they could touch the screen and drag the balls and could control it. But you must use a platform that allows you to give mouse control. I like to use Zoom or I only use Zoom. That's what my workplace uses. And we just give mouse control. Uh, if you are using the practice edition, I would suggest that you also share sound when you share the screen and give mouse control. And you can normally take a mouse control back or there are some shortcut keys or you can just turn it off in Zoom quickly and easily. But this is the testing edition. So you would ideally use this in a, in a sound booth and give them a tablet that has the internet and you pull this up right on their browser and just pass it to them. And you would have to watch on their screen whether or not they are moving the balls or dropping the balls in the bucket. And uh, keep an eye out in the future um, for younger kids. I will be making the same condition play audiometry sets, but when they complete the task, they will go to the next page and instead maybe have a little animation, just like the, the uh, visual reinforcement. Okay, so that is the testing edition of the condition play audiometry. Thanks for watching.